Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning, I believe, to all of the honorable judges, teachers, and fellow contestants. And today, before I start my speech, let me introduce myself. My name is Nafisina Fatiha Widinur Zuraidin, and I am a 15 year old student from SMK Sri Milan. I am very short in size, 154 centimeters short, but I have a dream as the, as the Bentra Nas Tlintao. Today, I would like to deliver a speech on ways on how to improve your English. As you may already know, English is the official language of numerous countries, and it is also the language that we use to communicate with people all around the globe. Nowadays, many people have started to realize the importance of being fluent in English, so today, I am standing here to give you guys tips on how to improve and learn English. Tip number one, you need to speak a little bit of English every day. It doesn't matter if you only know five English words or if you're practically fluent. Speaking English to another person is the fastest and also the most effective method of moving. Please don't wait until you feel more comfortable speaking in English. You probably wouldn't reach that level for a very long time, so push yourself outside your comfort zone and start learning it today. I can guarantee that you will be amazed at how quickly your language skills will improve. Another thing is, for people that are living abroad in an English-speaking country, they can simply start conversations with people that they meet. And that is probably one of the best ways to learn English. Next, work on your pronunciation. Correct, clear pronunciation is essential if you really, really want to improve your English. Listen closely to how native English speakers pronounce certain words and sounds and do your best to copy them. By doing this, you are able to have an English ability that is as good as a native speaker. Be aware that the pronunciation of certain words varies greatly depending on the part of the world it's spoken in. For example, American English sounds very different from British English when they pronounce such words like water. Next, you also need to try and watch movies or TV shows. This is by far the most popular method of learning English and it is also my favorite of learning English. You should pick movies or TV shows that you will enjoy. This will make the whole exercise feel less like a chore and you will find it is less burdening. Try to pick movies or TV shows that you are familiar with, such as children's cartoons or blockbuster films. By doing this, you are able to pick up the language and understand the story better because you have a great interest towards that movie. My own personal experience is actually by watching all seasons of The Big Bang Theory and How I Met Your Mother on E4 before going to bed every single day. I watched it with subtitles, obviously in English, and without subtitles, and this has helped me to improve my English tremendously. You also should not watch these TV shows with subtitles in your native language. That will make the whole exercise become pointless because you will not try to understand the language, instead focuses on the subtitles on screen. Another great tip that I found out actually when I studied English was actually to watch Korean dramas. And I know many of you guys are probably thinking, how can a Korean drama with every single character speaking Korean, every single character are Korean, can teach people to speak English? I know, you probably are not found it right now. You, if you watch Korean dramas online, usually the subtitles are in English. So to me, it was pretty much like reading a book, and I was like for reading, but far, far, far more excited because you get to see handsome people. In conclusion, learning English has many, many, many benefits, and the list is endless. But one of them is that you're able to gain confidence because you're able to speak to anyone pretty much in this whole entire world. Learning English is also can make you communicate with people online, through social medias, and also offline. I know that many people sitting in this room are able to speak English really fluently because we're at a public speaking competition, but use tips that I've given today to teach others who are struggling to find efficient ways to learn English. That's it for me today. Thank you.